Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Okay, guys, my name is James, and you are here with Custom Sign 719. And uh, we're going to do a tutorial today <clears throat> on Surecuts Lot Pro, uh, Pro 3. That's what I use for all my vinyl cutting. Uh, I have a Titan 3 vinyl cutter, it's servo motor. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and do a tutorial on how to make a memorial uh, decal. And um, I, know, I know it's easy to put one together, but just a little something with some flair and um, so you guys can get to see it. And uh, and go from there, you know, put some custom twist to it and make it your own. So I'm going to go ahead and open Sure Cuts A Lot 3 Pro. Sorry, I got my fan on in the background. It's been kind of hot and uh, I got to have it on, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and immediately fix my board. I'm only going to make it, I don't know, 10 by 10 or something like that. So uh, if you guys watch, you can go right up here to custom mat and you can change, I'm sorry, and you could change your mat size. So right now my mat is 24 inches long by 36 inches, uh, well really 36 inches long and then 24 width. So I'm just going to drop this down because I don't want to be, um, moving around on the board a lot okay so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, you want to make sure that you build up a lot of fonts um, I go to fontspace.com and you're able to download tons and tons of fonts and uh, you know load it into your your uh, software and um, I advise when you're when you're not busy doing stuff open your program and Get to downloading some fonts. You want to have some really cool stuff. Um, I tell a lot of my customers too. I deal with a lot of customers over the phone and over Facebook. And I'll have some episodes on that, how to get Facebook customers and uh, how, how to get customers through Craigslist and stuff like that. But uh, uh, we'll be going back and forth and I'll give them the website, face, uh, fontspace.com. <clears throat> and uh, I give them the option they get to go through and pick uh, whatever fonts they want, and then they let me know what they like. And uh, when you work with your customer like that, and you give them some option instead of uh, talking to them on the phone, and I'll find something good for you. Uh, yeah, you want script? I'll, I'll find something good. That leaves them a little bit unsure, and uh, it gets kind of scary. So um, you want to make sure that they get a lot of control, and uh, it, it makes it makes for a better better customer and uh, um, business relationship. So. I give them the website and they go and they come back happy. I want three different fonts. First line, this font, second line, this font, and third line, that font. And um, they're already got an idea of what it's going to look like because they picked the fonts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I start writing out what it says. So in memory, A lot of people will put in memory of, I put in memory, second will be the name of the person. So for example, um, I did a really cool one a while back ago and um, I'll just change the name. We're going to change this in loving memory. There we go. in loving memory. So now we're going to make sure it's selected and we're going to come over here and uh, we're going to, well first we're going to kind of bring it over 
and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to simply delete that. We're going to reselect this. And I want to kind of blow it up just a little bit. Now that it's blowed up, I want to go into my fonts. And uh, I want to find a script for the top. I definitely want to find a script. I want to find a little bit of, of a thicker script. As soon as I find the right one, we'll move on to a different uh, section. Okay, so I decided I like this, this font. So I'm going to go ahead and blow it up again. In loving memory, and then we're going to go ahead and scoot it where what we're trying to what we're trying to do is we're trying to line it up so it makes sense. We want it to fit here and here. As you see, the I goes over, and the Y is not yet close to that. So we want to get it proportioned. So we're going to come right over here, and we're going to move it. And that's probably going to be best fit right there. Right there. So once I have that done and I like it, I'm now going to go to, you're probably wondering, how am I going to get rid of this circle? Because now it's stuck with a circle. So we're going to go up here to text and we're going to go ahead and go to convert text to outline. And now we have uh, exactly how we wanted it. And I'm going to go over here to uh, Path and, and Unionize it, just to make sure that none of the uh, pieces are touching and uh, look funny when you when you get it to the cutter. Some cursive you want to go ahead and uh, union so it uh, it turns into one line instead of double layering, and the and the cutter wants to do double cuts on stuff. Um, the cool thing is we can stretch this, and we can do whatever we like with that. But right now I'm going to leave it like that. Now we're going to work with John Big Big Santana. So I'm going to go ahead and find the font I want first. And as soon as we find the font, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I like that font. I think that's pretty nice. Still going to look for something just a little bit different. And, you know, with your middle text, you don't want to go with another script. Um, it'll just get too script scripty. I like that. We're going to stick with that. So what I'm going to do now is I want to make where it says Big Vic. A little bit bigger and I want to keep the rest the same. So I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to go to ungroup. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab Big Vic with my little quotations and I'm going to group it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to group it because if I move this, see everything is separate. I would move the, if I grabbed it, I'd move the J. So what I'm doing is I'm grouping them to be their own so I can move them as I like. See now when I grab Santana and get it highlighted, I can move all the Santana. So now what I want to do is grab Big Vic. I want to stretch it out a little bit. And I still want to center it and make it, you know, fit. So it's almost there. So I'm gonna come up here where, uh, where you can nudge it. You can kind of move it and nudge it. 
So I think I got that where I want it. Now I'm going to group the whole thing back together so we can move this whole thing where we want it, okay? Perfect. Now with these numbers, I want to get some some nice lettering for uh, for the date or something that, that matches at least a little bit. It doesn't have to be as crazy as the first and the second one. Um, you would obviously not put uh, a script on that. It just it just wouldn't look good. The date you want you want clear. You want it to be uh, easy to read, and it's important that way. So this one looks good. This this will work for what we're doing. I don't know, I don't like how close together it is. That one looks good, that'll work. So now, I'm gonna take this and scoot it up. We obviously don't want it as long as, uh, as the rest, as uh, John Big Vic. So we wanna kinda squeeze it together just a little bit. And now we wanna put this together where it, where it looks more like um, an image instead of just the letters. So the first thing I want to do is I take my Big Vic and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to make sure that point where the, the J is and the A is, is on that line right there. And you could do it anywhere. I just do this. So now I know um, it's going to be centered in between blocks. There might be better ways to do this. This is just how I do it. So I know how many blocks I'm working with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I want to center it in between those. And we know it's centered because we got half the four out and half the O out. And we have one, one, and we're in the second block. Um, that's just how I eyeball it. I'm sure everyone could do it differently, but I've been doing this for a long time, so I, I can pretty much eyeball it pretty good. Now, we don't want this to sit on top like that. That would look, I mean, look, it looks like a mushroom. So we don't want it to look uh, goofy. We want this to kind of fit over it. A little better. So we're going to stretch it out. Maybe bring it in just a little bit. Stretch it out just a little bit more. And then we'll start centering it. And as much room as I have over here on this block, I want the same amount of room on this block. And right now we have, let me get rid of the circle. I thought I was going to use a second circle, but um, I decided not to. So right now we have a pretty nice, uh, in loving memory, decal. Now what we can do is grab the whole image, link it together, come up here to object, and group it together. So at this point we can move the whole thing anywhere we want. Now you might think and say, hey, what about size? Well, that's the next thing we're going to go into. Once you build your image at any size, when it's finished, you can make it any size. So if my customer said, you know, I really wanted it to be on the back window of my car and I wanted it one foot by two foot. We could turn this into a one foot by two foot image. If uh, the customer decided to say they wanted it in the corner of their window and they want it to be, I don't know, let's say four four inches tall and, uh, you know, seven inches long in that area, we can easily do that. So we'll go right over here, 
and we're automatically going to try to see what the adjustments will be if we make this four inches it would come to nine nine inches so now we can click this key proportions and customly make it the size they actually wanted it and now we have a four inch tall by seven inch decal and better yet they said hey I need two of them well now you already have it sized you can easily copy it and paste it as many times as you like and make more <clears throat> Um, but we're just going to do, you know, the one for now. And that is how you make a memorial tattoo. I did the memorial because there's a lot of people, memorial, memor memory, I say them both. Uh, there's a lot of people that I get that say, hey, I need a, uh, a, a memorial tattoo uh, from someone we loved and lost or you know something like that and uh, I don't care how long you've been in decals or how long you have not you're sooner or later gonna run into a good number of people saying I need a memorial tattoo a memory tattoo for my my back window and that's mostly where they're gonna go with side windows and back windows um, I've had a few people get them made for uh, um, you know their wall uh, different different items different things but this is going to be something that you're you're probably going to do, and you're probably saying, I've already ran into to doing these. So um, you get creative with it. Whenever you make one, as long as the customer's okay with it, I advise to do a two to three line memorial memory tap, uh, uh, memory decal sticker, <clears throat> and uh, give it a little bit of character so uh, it has some flow. Don't ever just do it straight line, straight line, straight line. You could even, if you want, bottom curve uh, uh, the bottom line, the dates, and it would give it a little bit more flair. But uh, I guarantee if we made this sticker and this was for someone important, they would love it. It's got a little bit of thought in it, and uh, they got to pick the, the fonts, and uh, they have something to enjoy. So, until next time, subscribe right here to Custom Vinyl Signs, and uh, my name's James, and you can leave your comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I do deal with Surecuts a lot Pro 3, and uh, I, don't, I don't really mess with any other cutting programs, any softwares for that, like Razor Cut or uh, uh, things like that. I really do a lot of my customer base. And um, I, I really work out of Shortcuts a lot pro. I mean, it does everything for you. So um, I will have more tutorials on other things, what to do, what to make, uh, tricks, tips. And um, you'll also see me cutting vinyl and, and the vinyl room and everything else. So I um, hope you enjoyed.